You're listening to Stream, 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 the podcast that tells you what streaming on platform for subscription, rent, or buy. I'm going to talk about movies coming out streaming on January the 29th. We'll start off with Savage State. 44% 44% on tomato meter, no audience score. The American Civil War breaks out. A family of French colonists settled in Missouri decides to go back to France. Edmund, Madeline, and her three daughters have to cross the whole country to reach New York. They are led by the mysterious and dangerous mercenary, Victor. It's an adventure drama western. Directed by David Perrault. Produced by... Sylvain Corbel and Fares Ladjimi, written by David Peralt. It is two hours and one minute. Some of the cast and crew are Mel Abibau as Layla, Constance Dolly as Madeline, Bruno Tadeschini as Edmund. Deborah Francois as Justine, Kevin Jensen as Victor, and Alice Isaiz as Esther. This one is for rent on DirecTV, or you can rent or buy it on Amazon Video, Google Play, YouTube, Fandango Now, Voodoo, and Redbox. Alright, the next one, Haymaker, 44% on the tomato meter, no audience score. Haymaker follows a retired Muay Thai fighter working as a bouncer who rescues an alluring transgender performer from a nefarious thug, eventually becoming her bodyguard, protector, and confidant. The relationship leads Sasso's character to make an unexpected return to fighting, risking not only his relationship, but his life. Haymaker tells a story about human dignity and love. It's a drama action, directed by Nick Sasso. Produced by Nobi Ruiz, Nick Sasso, and Andrew Van Den Houten. Written by Nick Sasso. It is one hour and 23 minutes long by Hood River Entertainment and Hero Face Productions. Some of the cast and crew, Udo Kier as David, Veronica Falcone as Marisol, Zoe Bell as Rosie, John Ventimiglia as Javier, Nick Sasso as Nick and Nobi Ruiz as Nobi. And this one is for rent on Redbox and DirecTV, or you can rent or buy it on Google Play, YouTube, Microsoft Store, and Voodoo. The Little Things 48% on Tomato Meter, 64% audience score. Deputy Sheriff Joe Deke, Deacon joins forces with Sergeant Jim Baxter to search for a cellar killer who's terrorizing Los Angeles. As they track the culprit, Baxter is unaware that the investigation is dredging up echoes of Deke's past, uncovering disturbing secrets that could threaten more than his case. It's a crime, mystery, and thriller drama directed by John Lee Hancock, produced by John Lee Hancock and Mark Johnson, written by John Lee Hancock. It's two hours and seven minutes long by Grand Via and Warner Brothers. Some of the cast and crew, Chris Bauer as Detective Sal Rizzoli, Terry Kitty as LASD Captain Carl Ferris, Natalie Morales as Detective J.B. Estrada, Jared Leto as Albert Sparma, Rami Malik as Jim Baxter, and Denzel Washington as Joe Deak Deacon. And this one is streaming on HBO Max. Savage, 74% on tomato meter to 69% audience score. Inspired by the true stories of New Zealand's street gangs across 30 years, Savage follows Danny at three defining moments in his life as he grows from a boy into the violent enforcer of a gang. It is a crime drama directed by Sam Kelly, produced by Vicky Pope, written by Sam Kelly. It is one hour and 40 minutes long, by Park Road Post Production, POP Films, New Zealand Film Commission, 
and Avalon Studios. Some of the cast and crew, Seth Flynn as Liam, Errol Shand as Josh, Oily Pressling as Danny, Chelsea Preston Crayford as Flo, Jake Ryan as Danny, and John Tui as Moses. And this one is for rent by DirecTV and Redbox. Or you can rent or buy it on Amazon Video, Google Play, YouTube, Voodoo, Apple iTunes, and Fandango Now. Palmer. 75% on tomato meter, it's a 91% audience score. Former high school football star Eddie Palmer went from hometown hero to convicted felon, earning himself 12 years at a state penitentiary. He returns home to Louisiana, where he moves back in with Vivian, the grandmother who raised him. While trying to keep his head down and rebuild a quiet life for himself, Palmer is haunted by memories of his glory days and the suspicious eyes of his small town community. Things become more complicated when Vivian's hard living neighbor, Shelley, disappears on a prolonged bender, leaving her precious and unique seven year old son, Sam, often the target of bullying, in Palmer's reluctant care. In time, Palmer is drawn into a more hopeful world as he forges a connection with Sam through their shared experience of being made to feel different by those around them. Life improves for Palmer, and a romance develops between him and Sam's teacher, Maggie. An inspiring and unexpected journey unfolds for the three of them, but soon Palmer's past threatens to tear apart his new life. It's a drama, directed by Fisher Stevens, produced by Charlie Corwin, Sidney Kimmel, Daniel Nadler, John Pinotti, and Charles B. Wessler. Written by... Cheryl Guerrero. It's one hour and 51 minutes long by Ray Films, second. Sydney Kimball Entertainment, SK Global, and Hercules Film Fund. Some of the cast and crew Jesse C. Boyd as Tommy Coles, Ryder Allen as Sam, June Squibb as Vivian, Alicia Wainwright as Maggie, Juno T Temple as Shelley and Justin Timberlake as Eddie Palmer. And this one is streaming on Apple TV Plus. Finding Ohana. 81% on tomato meter, a 90% audience score. Geocache champion Pilola Pili Kawina, age 12, has abruptly lifted from her busy New York life and dropped into rural Ohio to help care for her grandfather. Initially skeptical about her new surroundings, Pilly finds a cryptic pirate's journal in her papa's studio, hinting at a 200-year-old shipwrecked treasure hidden away in the island caves and mountains. With her older brother and new friends in tow, she uses her clue-solving skills to lead them on an adventure of a lifetime through the natural wonders of Hawaii. As she learns to respect and love her native culture, she also discovers not all secrets should be shared and that the real treasure in life is Ohana, her family. It is an adventure action comedy directed by Jude Wing, produced by Ian Bryce, written by Christina Strain. It is two hours and three minutes long by Ian Bryce Productions. Some of the cast and crew, Kelly Hu as Leilani, Owen Vaccaro as Casper, Lindsay Watson as Hannah, Mark Evan Jackson, and then uh, Alex Iano as Ion, and K. Pew as Pilly. And this one is streaming on Netflix. The Night. 82% tomato meter, the 65% audience score. After a night out with friends, an exhausted married couple, Babak, Nita, and their babysitter take shelter in the grand but eerie Hotel Normandy. Throughout a seemingly endless night, mysterious disturbances ruin their night's rest as Babak and Nita soon realize they're locked in with a malevolent 
forest that hungers for the dark seekers they've kept from one another. It's a horror, mystery, and thriller. Directed by Karash Ahari. Produced by Alex Brito, Karash Ahari, Jeffrey Allard, Cheryl Dillard, Sterlikis, Armin Amri, and Mohammed Dormanesh. Written by Malad Jormuz and Kirosh Ahiri. It is 1 hour and 45 minutes long by Supernova 8 Films, 7 Skies Entertainment, Made with Pictures, Arama Filmworks, Indie Entertainment, and Livalier Media. Some of the cast and crew, George McGuire as Hotel Receptionist, Alester Latham as Displaced Man, Catherine Kavari as Alay, Leah Organian as Sher Shabnam Nadiri, Niasha Noir as Nida Nadiri, Shahab Hassini as Babak Nadiri. And this one is for rent or buy on Amazon Video. Alright, the last one, The Dig. 87% on Tomato Meter, the 82% audience score. An excavator and his team discover a wooden ship from the Dark Ages while digging up a barrel ground on a woman's estate. It is a drama, directed by Simon Stone, produced by Carolyn Marks Blackwood, Murray Ferguson, Gabrielle Tana, Ellie Wood, written by Mara Buffini. It's one hour and 52 minutes long by Netflix. Magnolia May Films and Clerkenwell Films. Some of the cast and crew Ken Scott as Charles Phillips, Ben Chaplin as Stuart Piggott, Johnny Flynn as Rory Lomax, Lily James as Peggy Preston, Ralph Fiennes as Basil Brown, and Carrie Mulligan as Edith Pretty. And this one is streaming on Netflix. Alright, that's it for January the 29th. Have fun watching the movie. This show is brought to you by Heartland Production Entertainment. If you'd like to help to make the show better, go to patreon.com slash heartlandpae.